For many of our students, this is the lesson you've been waiting for. In the beginning, there was shame. Swiftly followed by banishment. In China, they'd put you in a cage and leave you at the gates to the city. In ancient Mediterranean cultures, they'd shave your head and burn off all your body hair. In ancient Greece, citizens could vote you off the island, and you couldn't come back for 10 years. They voted with these shards of pottery called ostraca, hence ostracizing. Gonna wash my hands. Tarring and feathering first appeared in 12th century England, an instant classic. There was also the bride's muzzle, the scold's bridle, the drunkard's cloak, and the cucking stool. But it was the early 1300s that witnessed the emergence of what would become everyone's favorite public shaming device, the pillory. It was a kind of wooden contraption, and you would put your arms and your head kind of through this contraption, and it would be fixed in place. But you would be made to kind of parade to the site of the pillory. And those parades were vicious. People would shout abuse, hurl things at you. And there are examples of people who died on their way to the pillory. This is a person who is suffering because they have done something wrong. And we have to punish them in order to tell everyone else not to do the same thing. 